Hey, if you're new to Final Cut, I got some great tips coming up. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hey, so welcome back. So I'm going to switch screens here and we're going to go to a blank layout in Final Cut Pro. So open up Final Cut Pro and not a project, keep it just a new project file. So here we're going to go. I'll, I'll show you how it's done. So uh, first of all, you're going to open a library and that's going to be your main file for your edit. So we're going to just click on open library. And we're going to click on new. I'm going to call it, um, I have a desktop folder called Practice Project. So we're going to save it in there. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to click on this just once. I'm going to rename this Final Cut Pro Tutorial. for beginners so that's our main file and that's you're gonna see that when we go back to that folder uh, right here practice you can see that I added Final Cut Pro tutorial for beginners so first off uh, we need to import our assets or our video our photos our audio files music files by clicking import media you can do this a couple different ways you can go up here and import media this way right here I can go command I or I can click on import media so there's three different ways just keep it easy click on the import media and go from there I'm gonna go to my desktop where I have that practice folder And I want to bring in all these files. So, this is some green screen stuff I shot for practice. Now, um, we need a new project now. It, it sounds like the, what we created, the Final Cut Pro tutorial for beginners, is the project. But no, these are basically timeline projects within your project. I'm going to click on new project. I'm going to call it Final Cut Pro for Beginners. And I'm kind of going through this pretty quick. I hope not too fast. And now we have a project timeline. You can see it's got the timeline, uh, minute, two minutes. So now we can import stuff. So I want to import some... Um, I'm going to import some of this video here. It's a green screen clip. So I just, what I do is drag it. You just drag it, hold, hold your mouse down and drag it into your timeline. If you want to get rid of it, you click on it and you'll see the yellow box around it. Hit delete on your keyboard and it's gone. So I can do the same thing here. Hit delete and it's gone. You can also do a different way of importing by just bringing it in this way by clicking on these buttons here. If you have a big project and you want to bring this clip at to, to the end of that clip, boom, just like that. So this one, um, if I put my cursor here, this one will go right into the middle of that, which I didn't want to do. We're going to keep it easy. I'm going to go, I'm going to delete these real quick and just go back and we're going to drag this into our timeline. Now to, um, to use your tools and uh, manipulate this audio clip, uh, the first thing you want to learn is how to cut it. So I got some audio right here. Space for a nice shot. If I want to clip that right there, Sometimes I'll zoom in a little bit by clicking on Z on your keyboard 
and then just click the clip you can see the I have the um, the magnifying glass but you can click in so you can really kind of get that uh, cut really tight and then I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to blade tool and you can see the scissors B for blade and cut so now I have I clipped that uh, uh, this uh, video link um, I, I cut it so if I want to get rid of this this piece or let's say this piece in here that doesn't have any audio again I can click on B for blade or I can go up here and click on blade tool but use your shortcuts because that'll save you a lot of time when you're editing click on click on the timeline with your cut tool and then now I can select this and I can hit delete and boom it's gone to manipulate the audio you're gonna see this line right here that I'm I'm high kind of highlighting right here all you do is you can move it up and down for different decibels this will get really loud it was Facebook the day before it was a and you can do it in time I can lower it like that so really easy I could take the audio out by going by clicking on this clip and hit detach audio and then I click on the audio and I delete also if you want to add a transition like in between these two clips you go over to this right here which is your transition tools I have a lot of transitions but we're gonna just take a simple one called blurs and we're gonna go simple blur and we're gonna drag that blur or this transition I'm sorry right over to that uh, clip that's been cut right there and now you will see that we can play it back it's rendering right now you'll see these dots up here that means it's rendering when they disappear um, also you can see up here in the that it's rendering it's done and now it'll transition space see how see how that did that space so this window over here you see that our main timeline plays this clip right here space right here for... and then whatever I select in my content library it it, it shows up here so and I can go along here and do real-time see that real-time playback by just dragging my cursor over it the other thing I'm gonna show you is a a real quick tip and you can do this transition real quick here uh, at the end too so you have a transition and it fades out uh, another quick tip here is um, to add some text on the image so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna click on the T we have titles we have different titles um, it's easier to uh, edit on a two screen system but we're just gonna go to find some basic text so basic title right here so all you do is grab this drag it on top of where you want it let's try that again drag it here and now you can see the title in here but I'm gonna I'm gonna double click on that and then it gives me this box up here and we can change it to let's say Hollywood and then this you can manipulate the font what type of font you want uh, we can change it from regular to bold depending on the font the kind of font I can increase the size I can go down here and to face and we hit show and then I click on this color it's white right now and I want it red and look at that we got red title now we can also drag in transitions on this title so it automatically gave me a transition at the end and in the in the beginning so now if we play it back again it's rendering right now you can see it up here this little clock 
I don't know if you can see my cursor. But if we play it back, it's going to fade in. If we play it back, it'll fade in. Shot. See that? Nice shot. Still can't see the money. And then you'll see it at the end. It's going to fade out. In front of the town. Yeah. And we were doing a video on, on how to set up audio, um, which is another video we'll be uploading in the next week. So you got title, you got a, a video clip in, you know how to transition. Now here's a, another quick tip I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna click on this green screen footage. I'm gonna go to my plugins, which is right next to transitions. And I wanna show my plugins. So here's all my plugins and I'm gonna go down to a thing called Keyin. And I'm going to grab this key here and I'm going to drag it onto my clip. And now I've removed the green background by simply just dragging the key here onto the green screen clip. So now I'm going to show you one other thing is to bring in a background. Now remember, we have our titles, audio clips, and then our project files, which is in here. I'm going to click on it and I brought in a background so I want to put my talent on a on a background so I'm just going to drag it into my timeline oops I drag it too much I'm going to take and hit B for blade and I'm going to cut that off and then I'm going to take my select tool which is A and I'm going to drag over these two because I want to delete these. And I'm going to hit delete. And they're gone. Now, if you see my talent, he's sitting in an office. But the color behind him is a little bit whiter than him. So I'm going to show you one other trick here. We're going to go to this tool right here. And we're going to do balance color. And then we're going to get our color key here up here. I'm on a laptop, so it's a little bit slower. I'm clicking on this, which brings up my colors. And I'm going to adjust the color a little bit. And give him not so... He was a little bit on the warm side. So now he's a little bit cooler. And if we go play it back now he's sitting in that environment but now it's on a green screen so you want to do a lockdown shot if you guys are videographers or cinematographers you know what a lockdown shot it is but I have a zoom shot here so it looks a little different it doesn't look right but I could easily fix this by clipping this I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the moving part out I'm gonna cut that out and then we're gonna hit delete select it and delete and then I'm gonna drag this over you can just drag and hold and bring it back to here and then if you see from here to there there's no movement it's just back and forth so but you would want to bring in, you'd want to take your background when you put in tight, go in tight like that. You want your background to be tight as well. So I'm going to hit the select tool, which is A. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to just select this. I'm going to go up here to this little film strip. And I'm going to scale up the background so it looks closer to them because it would be closer to them if it was a closer shot see that so if we play this back there you go so that's the magic of green screen and some great beginning tips on editing hey if you like this video give it a thumbs up also hit subscribe below we really appreciate you checking out our videos and stay tuned for more videos coming soon